I'm on the Diamond Hero of the video, and today I'm going to review a kind of controller. Remember back my SNES controllers when I reviewed the Super Pad and the SN Pro Pad for the Super Nintendo? Well, today I have this. One of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the Xbox 360 Universal Media Remote. I just kind of, in yeah. See, this is the original remote from the original white Xbox 360s. You, you know, the ones that had all the problems with overheating and the, and the red ring of death. Oh yeah, ones that ones that go out uh, pathetically e easily. Well, they made a remote for it, and see, the Xbox 360 could play DVDs. Like, well, it, it, it could play standard DVDs. Blu-ray was you couldn't play Blu-ray DVDs until they released the Xbox One. So, yeah, I've got, um, this thing, yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty amazing. See, I have an Xbox 360 at S, and I was kind of surprised when I learned that it'll work, that these white, that the white remotes will work on the, the newer Xbox 360s. And it's, you know, if you think about it, this thing's, this thing's kind of pointless. Because everything you can do, because, uh, every, yeah, this mode is made for DVDs, but you can, like, do everything with a controller. <laughs> so it's, so it's pointless, but I guess it's cool. And everything had a remote. Even even the Wii had a remote. I don't think the PS3 did, but yeah. So yeah, if you, yeah, if you press the, this button right here, it open opens the menu. If you press this one, the open and close button right there. Huh? How do you like How do you like that? I remember. I remember just making making uh making a short little clip posting it to in, posting it to Instagram me messing around with this thing. <laughs> All right, with the hit the OK button, go into this. Yeah, we're gonna play Sonic Ultimate Genesis Clutch because there is one game that is slightly compatible with the with this thing, which is nice. Sega. Sega. Sad thing is you can't turn the volume down on your TV. I'm do I'm doing this all with the remote. I I just have I have the controller sitting right next to me. I haven't picked it up yet. All right, let's go to let's go down to Doctor Robotics Mean Bean Machine. All right, let's see, yep. Yeah. Start. Yeah. So it's kind. Of, so with the th so the thing with being able to play these white remotes on black Xbox 360s is kind of like backwards compatibility. <laughs> All right. Let's go down to exercise mode. They have, they have buttons on here. They have X. They have Y, X, A, and B. Sadly, they don't have. They lack the triggers and bumpers, but. Oh. What, what's the point? Sadly, when you hit down, you can't like make him speed up like you can in the game. So it just goes real, real slowly. Yeah, I can even pause it. That is loud. Yes. Sorry, I have a, I have a sleeping, I have a sleeping parent, so you're not gonna have any sound. All right, you can just hear the sound of my voice. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Yeah, how do, how do you like it? No sound. Actually, I hate it. I'm gonna turn the sound back on. hear this catchy tune be for forced to hear it for hours on the end
function. You wouldn't expect that. See, this is why. You don't need remotes to play video game consoles. Except, for, except, except if your name is the Wii. That is the only exception. I don't know what I don't know what Microsoft is thinking when they made this thing. Perhaps I thought it'd be cool. Using remotes. Like TVs. It's like... Dang it, I can't... How am I still trying to get used to the control? I've been playing this for like five minutes now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna let them fall. I keep hitting the button. Oh my god. I can't do this. I I I just can't. I I can't do it. The the fact that I can't last this with like the with like the the friggin' remote is kind of pathetic in my opinion. This nice that has some that it has some, uh, like, c compatibility. That's something you wouldn't expect in something for DVDs. Like, not, not games. I think games would be the last thing you would expect. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing this review on my mind for a while, but I never got around to it because I've been doing other stuff. Like, like I got the Game Boy, then you got all, then you have all these reviews that I did. God dang it! There we go. Ooh, that close. That was close. I can't. Oh no. I played this game. I think I. I think I have played this game on video before. Did I play this in my. Uh. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection review? I don't even remember. Ah, dang it. I suck. I think there was once where I played it, but I didn't. But I didn't like the. I didn't like the, the take or something. I like most of my videos. I found it very flawed. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not afraid to openly criticize my own videos. God, I can. I can't even do this with a controller. Goodbye. That's enough of that. Oh, man. Yeah, what? Which one? Which ones should we do? Uh, let's. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's do this. Sonic. Sonic Spinball might be a good one. I'm 
just gonna go on record and say I love the music in this game. Alright, so... The remote doesn't work. With this game, I thought it would for some reason. I should try more puzzle games, I think. I don't like pinballs, my thing. Oh yeah, col columns is a good one. Oh, I have to go all the way up to the seas. Screw you. Oh, where's? Oh, here it is. Yeah, columns. My columns might be a good one. Where's that remote? Alright. I really wish you could turn the volume up and down. That'd be perfect. Oh, okay. I kind of know how to play this. Not really. So it has it has some compatibility, which is nice. I, I I do I do like that, but this has to be the strangest thing I've ever seen. I mean, did you guys see all the buttons for it? Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, okay. I, I suck at this game. <laughs> Oh. Getting pretty good at this. That was bad. Oh. Ah. Alright, A's to A's to switch. Here we go. Us oh, this, this might be good. Oh. Ah, dang it. Move them! I'm screwed. Come on! Well, it's game over. There's a back button on this thing. Oh. Huh! Alright, so now here here's here's my final take on the whole thing. 
this is very interesting to use. As as oops, oops, as a as a game controller. It doesn't work. It's not perfectly no as a controller controller, but and it, it's mainly it's mainly for puzzle games, but. In the battle, in the battle of modes, this is it, it certainly has has a lot. This game, this, this certainly has a lot of functions. Like, it can help you start up your Xbox 360. You, you can pause games. You can even the buttons have some uh, capabilities have, have like some things as well. However, I wish they would have allowed you to change the volume because there's a volume button right here, but it doesn't do anything when you're playing a game. So, yeah, this is very, very inter interesting. Here's a back. Doesn't really uh, have a lot of uh, style to it. <laughs> Yeah, it certainly has a lot of buttons. Well, the Wii Remote might be si simpler. Oh, this don't need this. This doesn't need a nunchuck or any weird thing with a joystick. This, it this it, is a remote. This is definitely a remote. Nothing more. You don't need to install fancy. Fancy stuff to help you do things. It's just remote. It has so it has so many functions. Who would have who would have thought this thing would be used to play games of like pu puzzle games mostly? But come on, man. <laughs> so that concludes this, this review um, on the Xbox 360 Universal Media Remote. As I as I find more peripherals and stuff I uh, will uh, definitely be doing reviews on those things now I will uh, no if I give one I will do a review on, on the Super Game Boy um which which is pretty pretty cool I won't expect Play too much with a dot. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. it all uh, it allows you to play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo. That's what it does. I'll be saying that a lot. <laughs> yeah, so you can see them more clear than ever before. <laughs> right, this is Ben, the Dominator, and see you next time. But I won't leave you. On this screen, I'll leave you with me playing with this remote that I almost dropped on the floor. You know, singles by my TV. Oops, that I knew that was gonna happen. Singles by my TV for like the longest time, unused. We had to put new batteries in it, and I couldn't open the back. <laughs> but yeah, very interesting. Oops. What I do? I, I I hit. I obviously hit something. Maybe it's fine. Anyway, uh. Anyway, uh. See ya.